you do see me look down, it's because I'm reading some questions off of the site because there are quite a lot, so I can't remember them all. <laughs> Question is, what are you wearing? A little bardo off the shoulder um, jumper dress from Topshop. And it's kind of like one of these ones where it just comes down like that. And then it's actually got a really low back to it as well. So dress like that. It just looks like this. It's just a little knitwear dress. And this is the bottom. So we've just got the little slits either side. And then it's just like a little ribbed effect all across it and then the sleeves are nice and long as well. And then with that I'm literally just wearing some tights from Primark, just throwing them on for a nice chill day around the house, I'm not going out anywhere. Question number two, have you ever been in love? Um, no, I haven't, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, obviously I have people that I do love, like friends and family members and things like that, but I've never actually been in love, so no, not yet, but hopefully one day. <laughs> um, three, have you ever had a terrible breakup? Um, to be honest with you, I don't really, I've never really had like any relationships as such in that way so you can assume from that that I haven't had any breakups <laughs> so literally no, that a big man no I haven't had any terrible breakups but oh, I'm sure I will at some point, you never know How tall are you? I am 5'9 and a half, I am super tall if you've met me or you know me or you've seen me recently i mean i've always been tall i've always been one of the taller ones in my class when i was growing up i have such trouble buying jeans and things like that because i'm just so tall so i normally get mine from top shop have i got any tattoos no i don't have any tattoos but i do like them on other people but i don't think they'd really suit me um but yeah no i don't have any tattoos if i've got any piercings you guys are gonna think i'm such a prude but no i don't have any piercings not even my ears nothing at all I've gone this kind of thing of time about having them done so i don't know it's not really something that i think i'd be looking into but it's kind of something that i wish had happened but what's my favorite show um to be honest with you i don't really have a favorite show i kind of just watch kind of like reality TV, so Men in Chelsea, Towie, um, Big Brother, all that kind of thing I do watch, but I don't really have a favourite show as such, pick one out of them three, I'd say Men in Chelsea, I love that. <laughs> favourite bands, my favourite band, I'm just going to say is Coldplay because I like Coldplay, so. Something that I miss, um, last summer my dog Jasper, he passed away and he was the cutest little thing, bless him, and he was quite an old boy to be honest with you, three years old when we first got him and I was 18 when he died so yeah he would be um something that I miss the most but 12 what is my favorite song and I do have quite a few songs that I absolutely love and um, most of the songs that I do love are quite meaningful and they can be quite haunting as well and sometimes I have like a little message in them yeah so the favorite song I'm going to pick for this video is by a band called the Cinematic Orchestra and it's called To Build A Home and it's such an emotional song and it's used quite a lot in films and stuff like those kind of scenes so yeah I really do love that song. How old are you? I'm 19 years old. Um, what is your zodiac sign? My zodiac sign is Pisces and I love being a Pisces. I do like to read about my star sign because it really does explain like, a lot of the things about you so whether it might be the way you think, the way you do things, just how you are in general as a person, um, it really does make a lot of sense of like certain things that you do um, or why you might be slightly different to people in your family I mean some things that I do I think well no one else has done that or I don't know where I got that from or things like that so yeah it's quite interesting to actually read because it does actually help you yeah I'm a Pisces and proud <laughs> quality that you look for in a partner um, to be honest with you I've not really had like much experience to talk about it so I'm not really going to spend too long on it but I'm just going to talk in general like what I look for in like friends and like just people in general and possibly it could be classed as like a future partner what I would look for. Um, somebody that is definitely down to earth, um, genuinely kind and they will go out of their way for other people just to make a situation better. Obviously not everyone's perfect but some sort of genuine kindness would be needed. Um, obviously it doesn't hurt to be funny. <laughs> 
um yeah just sort of i'd have to say that they were they were genuine i think that's such a big thing with me and like loyal as well i don't know just kind of all these things that like kind of go overlooked when you first meet someone because first impressions of people can kind of blur what's really underneath and i want to know that person underneath you know so yeah i kind of i find those things quite important and I do find it like to be a really good quality when this can apply to a partner or friends or whatever but just like people in general when they actually have aspirations if they meet them it doesn't matter if they don't if they've met them if they're still humble afterwards and they're still down to earth and nothing changes them that's really a good quality I think to have or the fact that they have set aspirations or goals I think that's such a good quality as well but just you know keeping your feet on the ground I think that's such a good thing favorite quote and I love quotes I love reading them and it's kind of like to me quotes are like what other people have experienced put into minimal words it's kind of like you really just get the feeling and the keywords that you really need without all this unnecessary information so yeah I love reading it and I found one online I'm just gonna read it now and it says the true secret of happiness lies in taking a genuine interest in all of the details of daily life and I think that couldn't be more true literally People are always looking ahead and setting goals, which is great. People always look forward and they're like, I can't wait until such and such. But to me, I think that's great. Like, you've set goals and you've something to look forward to, good for you. But I really do think that, like, things that we have in our daily life, we take for granted and we miss things, like little details that are part of our lives. And I just think it's such a shame because what about all those days in between now and then? What are you going to do to make your life amazing? Do you know what I'm trying to say? It sounds really cheesy but I do think it's a miracle that we are here and obviously every day should be taken as something that's amazing. So yeah, I agree with that. I think happiness can be found in the smallest of things that are in our everyday life that we don't see and it's learning to like recognise friendship and not taking advantage of small things that we do take for granted but that is where you're going to find your happiness with your family and your friends and opportunities and things like that so yeah definitely one of my favourite quotes I love a little something where you can learn from it as well so <laughs> my favourite actor um I do love Twilight but so much more I love Harry Potter so I'm going to say Daniel Radcliffe because he has been one of my favourite actors for such a long time and he actually took his driving test around the corner from me and um, I know this because it was actually in a newspaper article at the Triumph a couple of years ago and it actually listed the time that he was there and I worked it out and I would have been walking past that time and I missed him so I'm so gutted because I can actually see from my window where he would have been so that is really gutting imagine that your favourite actor literally right there and you didn't even know so yeah that kind of sucks I was either there or I just missed him either way but yeah some woman who was actually taking her driving test at the same time I just finished both of them she was like is that who I think it is and he was like yeah it's me <laughs> can you imagine that so yeah um, I'm quite gutted about that still I'm quite over it <laughs> but yeah he's my favourite actor so if I could meet anyone I would say him first what is your favourite colour? Um, I didn't really used to have a favourite colour um, but since like my blog and things like that kind of like keeping my Instagram feed kind of like started to keep it quite white and clean um, yeah I definitely say white is one of my favourite colours it's just so sleek and it can go black which is like monochrome that's again really good for blogging kind of all blogging orientated but it's kind of boring to anyone who's not a blogger but if you're a blogger you'll get what I'm saying but I also kind of like it's this weird colour I don't know how to describe it but in my old house I had kind of like this colour room let me show you it's this teddy colour kind of like really soft and like plush and like music or soft Um, I like both to be honest with you it does depend what mood I'm in Um, if I'm kind of feeling a bit I wouldn't say emotional but if I'm kind of feeling like I need to chill out or you know and I feel like putting some music on it will be something quite meaningful so I'll just kind of put something quite soft on but I do love a party as well and I do love to dance because I used to dance so yeah I do I kind of like both it kind of depends what the situation is where I am what 
time is that kind of situation <laughs> okay, so question number 20 where do you go when you're sad um to be honest with you i kind of read this one and i can't really think of an answer for it because when i'm sad i don't know i'm not one of these people that will literally just kind of shut themselves away in like the literal sense if that makes sense to other people if i ask me but if they don't ask i figure they don't really you know they haven't noticed so i bring it up like I don't know, I'm not really one to tell if I'm not, if it's not noticeable, I won't say anything, so, yeah, um, if I am really, really, really upset, I guess I would just come up to my room, yeah, turn offs is arrogant, I'm sorry, that is my number one thing, if you're arrogant, I'm not really gonna, like, it's not, I wouldn't talk to you, like, but you wouldn't be my favourite person, let's just say that, I wouldn't really feel, um, like if I thought you were arrogant or I knew you were arrogant um, it's just so negative and I wouldn't really feel comfortable in like talking to someone like that because it's just negative you know who wants to be spoken down to like that so yeah it's unnecessary and it's not something that I would look for either in a friend or in a partner is what is the reason that you join YouTube and um, the reason I joined YouTube is actually last year um, and I posted a couple of videos and they were so amateur so I took them down but this year I kind of geared myself up and I've wanted to start my own blog for a long time and I finally did so that is up now and, and I thought that YouTube and my blog would go hand in hand together and it would really just help you guys as my viewers see a little bit more about like who I am, what I do and what I love and also it's a great way to share great things that I want to obviously talk to you about and let you guys know about so yeah it's more just getting my stuff out there and obviously helping you guys out at the same time so that's kind of why I wanted to do YouTube it's more coverage for you guys what was the last thing that made you cry um I actually think that was um, yeah I think that was when I was actually thinking about Jasper I did get really upset so yeah I do miss him and I do have a little cry every now and then but who doesn't when they miss someone the last time you said that you love someone earlier today <laughs> I sent it to my mum I love her she's like my best friend and my mum all in one so yeah she was the last person I sent it to the meaning behind my YouTube name and um, my name is literally just Madeline Nates on there which is my name and then on my Google Plus profile that is the Miss Perfect Passion and Beauty so yeah it's just my name I thought it was quite easy to stick to but I do think that I think on my so what you put the background heading on your actual YouTube profile, I think that's my Miss Fashion Beauty um, logo, which my channel is my brand, it's my blog, but I just thought it'd be easier to stick to my thing yeah, it's on there so people know who I am because Miss Perfect Fashion Beauty is on all my other social media platforms, so if you guys don't know my name, it's all on my YouTube account. <laughs> the last book that I read, um, it was actually, I think it might have actually been the Harry Potter. Um, it was the very last instalment of the books because I'd never actually read that book before so it was the Deathly Hallows part one and part two all in one book and yeah I'd never read it so obviously I'd seen the film but I've never seen the book so apparently the books are like a very limited edition now and um, especially that last book and there's very few that were actually made so I was very lucky to get one I actually picked mine up in one of the charity shops and I thought it was criminal that it was even in there this is a massive one here Nice the last person I talked to that would have been my sister. Yeah, I spoke to her before I made this video actually. <laughs> um, we were just kind of like talking about um, holidays, we've got books and things like that, so we're really excited for that in the summer. So that was the last person I spoke to. What is the relationship between you and the last person that you texted? Oh god guys, I'm one of these people that's so bad at texting. But the last person that I did text is my best friend. You know who you are. Um, yeah, we speak all the time and literally since we've left school, we don't see each other as much as we would like. But I know that even though we don't see each other all the time, when we do, it's like I saw her yesterday. Nothing ever changes and I know that nothing ever will. And we don't have to be, you know, those friends that are like in each other's pockets to know that we are still best friends. Like she is my best friend. Like like she is my sister she's like another sister to me so do i have a crush um not really no <laughs> not at the moment i have people that like obviously i find interesting and stuff like that but yeah like the people i surround myself with like you know who you are if i like you or not but yeah like no i don't really have a crush at the moment but i do enjoy like getting to know new people and stuff so yeah it's all in always interesting but you never know i might play any instruments i don't but you know what 
I've got quite a musical ear, like I know that sounds really weird, but where I used to do dancing and stuff like that and yeah, I do I do love music. So I think the piano is so beautiful, like when you play really peaceful and like meaningful songs, I think that's so beautiful. So some of my favorite most of my favourite songs actually that are like softer music, they do have piano in, so I think that's so lovely. So yeah, if I could play an instrument I'd probably want to try the piano. Your favourite piece of jewellery? I actually have, I'm not wearing them today because I haven't gone anywhere, but I've got these Pandora rings and one of them was bought by my best friend, which I was talking to you about earlier, the last person that I texted. And for me, it was given as a birthday present a couple of years ago. But every time I look at it, it's like a reminder of our friendship. So yeah, that's like my favourite piece of jewellery that I've got. Devin, what is your favourite chat line? I don't really have one to be honest with you. I think they're all quite cheesy. I just, I don't know. Like with me, I just think you're better off avoiding one altogether. I don't really have one. <laughs> I thought, yeah, have you ever used it? No, I would never use a chart line. Like, no way. No, I would not like one used on me, and I've never used one. No, it's just cheesy. You should answer this question next. And I think you guys should. And definitely, if you've got a YouTube account, you should definitely try and answer some of these questions because they're super fun. It's a great way to find out more about the person that you're obviously listening to, and it's just great to hear amongst friends as well and a little bit more about each other that you didn't already know so definitely give them a go if you want to find out even more about me then do subscribe to this channel leave a like on this video and that will tell me that obviously you did enjoy it and i can do more videos like this in the future and yeah also check out some of my other videos so you see what i'm about if you are new to this channel so thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye